Hi, I'm Jim from Easy Tankless. Please pay close attention to this video. I will explain the difference between a power vent and a direct vent tankless water heater. In this image, on the left is a direct vent, meaning it takes its intake air in from outside and puts its exhaust back outside. On the right is a power vent, meaning it takes its intake air from inside the room in which it is mounted. A direct vent model does not disturb the interior atmosphere of your home because it's not using interior air for combustion. In this power vent model, you can see that the room it is mounted in is where it gets its supply of air for combustion to make out water. The same thing as your old tank type heater. It's using the air from the room in which it is mounted. In this next image, you will see the typical mounting of an easy tankless direct vent heater. It needs to be very close to or on an exterior wall. This is what the exhaust intake pipe looks like exiting the house. There is intake air going in and exhaust coming out because the pipe has two chambers built into one. In this image you can see that I have my hand on the pipe and it is not hot because the intake air comes in the outer part of the chamber. As always, our direct vent models come with the exhaust system, the standard piece as shown here, at no additional charge. This is a direct vent model, meaning that it does not use the atmosphere in which the heater is mounted for combustion. So therefore, what this means is that your intake air is coming from outside the home, and that happens by this exhaust system being what we call concentric. There are two pipes in one, an exhaust and an intake. It is important to understand that this exhaust system because it has intake air traveling in the outer part of the chamber, exhaust traveling the opposite direction inside, it cannot be connected to any other existing exhaust pipe. You cannot connect it to the original pipe that was for your tank heater. You cannot connect it to your chimney. And they also do not work well when you use them for a long distance. The reason is because it has to draw air in from outside. And the longer the run, more difficult it is to obtain its air supply for combustion. These types of heaters simply work best when mounted on an exterior wall. How it works is that there are two pipes built in one. You can see here that in the center is one pipe and then there is an, a larger pipe around it. The center pipe is the exhaust and the outer area is the intake. Looking at the other end, we have an intake area here, this is where the air is going in, and this would be the exhaust. A few words about code. Every state has plumbing and heating safety codes. Some are different, but basically everywhere you need to install a wall thimble where the exhaust passes through your exterior wall. This is what a typical thimble looks like. This is to isolate the heat from the pipe from touching the interior of the wall. You should always use a professional installer and always be certain of your local code to be sure you're in compliance before you purchase a tankless water heater. You absolutely cannot tie the exhaust for a tankless heater into an existing draft type pipe. Thank you for watching. You can find us on the net at eztankless.com.